A new HBO documentary film, The Swamp, will take you behind the walls of Congress and give you an insider's look at what goes on in Washington. Talking with us this morning is the co-director Morgan Pekma, who is also one of our go-to political experts. Good morning to you. How you doing? Good morning, Dan and Betty. All right, so Morgan, big day for you. We're going to get into your film in just a moment. But first, I want to get your take on what's happening in the political world. Joe Biden's possible picks for vice president. He's expected to name his choice in the coming weeks. Axios reporting this morning that it's between Kamala Harris and Susan Rice. That, that's right. It seems to be kind of narrowing to them. Um, you know, there are upsides to, to both candidates. Senator Rice, uh, I'm sorry, Senator Harris is certainly a well-known figure after her run for president against Joe Biden. And former NSA advisor Susan Rice is a, a very accomplished veteran of the Obama administration and somebody who is really well-liked both by Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Morgan, what should Biden be looking for? Because when we hearken back to John McCain and Sarah Palin, that pick didn't turn out so well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right now, um, Joe Biden is leading in the polls simply by being the other guy. And so his number one thing that he should do is no harm. He doesn't want to get somebody who adds controversy to the mix, who becomes the story. And at the same time, he wants to have a running mate who will energize the base mm -hmm. in a way that, particularly on, on the left side, Joe Biden has failed to do. So former National Security Advisor Susan Rice and Kamala Harris, those are the top two, but there are other names, Representative Karen Bass, Val Demings, and Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Do you see them as still contenders, or is it really between the first two? Well, you know, the problem is, uh, especially with those politicians, when you haven't been vetted to that degree on the national stage, things start to surface. We saw this past weekend a bunch of oppo drop about uh, Congresswoman Bass, about some remarks she had made around Cuba and Scientology. And so, I mean, that is exactly what the Biden uh, ticket is trying to avoid, mm. is to unearth a candidate like Sarah Palin, who all of a sudden comes with all this unexpected baggage. All right. All right. All right let's shift gears. Let's talk about your new documentary, The Swamp. Let's give folks a sneak peek. Take a listen. We would be sort of an odd couple politically. I am a Tea Party Republican from Florida. Roe served in the Obama administration and represents Silicon Valley. But folks like Roe, even who maybe don't hold my ideology or my view on every subject, understand that this place has to change if we want to do right by the American people. We came here to work for the people who sent us here. All right, so you had a lot of access to Congress. Give us an idea of what goes on behind closed doors. You know, this movie in a lot of ways is like Congress confessional because generally when you hear members of Congress on television, they're spinning very carefully crafted narratives. But in our film, they are speaking with enormous candor about the systemic corruption all around them and how frustrated they are at the dysfunction and inability for them to really serve as effective members of Congress because they feel trapped in this broken system. So yeah, you, you really follow three individuals, three congressmen around. Who did you choose and why? So we followed Florida Congressman Matt Gates, who is very well known for making inflammatory uh, comments. He's beloved by the right, hated by the left. Um, Thomas Massey of Kentucky, he has been called the most hated man on Capitol Hill for his reluctance to follow his party and, and kind of buck the orthodoxy. And then Congressman Ken Buck, who's the chair of the Colorado Republican Party, and also wrote a book in his first term, which was kind of an expose about uh, why Congress was broken, which is very very unusual for people to, to spill the beans because they get in trouble with their colleagues. Well, these are some really polarizing figures in Congress, and I see why you chose them. What were some of the most surprising things that you learned? Well, you know, one of the things that is really mind-blowing is that we all know about money and politics when it comes to campaigns, but the members actually have to pay for their committee seats. They have to pay their respective parties for their committee seats when they get to Congress. And that can total in the hundreds of thousands of dollars every cycle. And who's going to give you that money? For let's say you're sitting on the Armed Services Committee and you need to raise hundreds of thousands of dollars, well, you don't get grassroots donations for that. You go to the people who have an interest in the work part and the work product of that committee, and Lobbyist. those are things like Wait a second. Very, you know, yeah, obvious yeah. in the military-industrial complex. Therefore, is the get, corruption? I you see. Don't, you don't get appointed. 
Mm. No, well, you do get appointed, but the party will only appoint you if you pony up your dues to the committee, and, and that's what is such a toxic and corrupting system. Morgan, that's why you see some of them sleeping in their offices, right? Because right? they can't, they just simply can't afford it. Morgan, always great talking <laughs> to you uh, and speaking with you about these topics. I'm really looking forward to watching this. The HBO documentary film, The Swamp, available on HBO and to stream on HBO Max. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you so Morgan. much, Dan and Betty.